hello welcome back to my channel please subscribe to my channel check my channel for other videos and please like my video so the last update about this of it rambro prachi sedat and ria goes for honeymoon in manali despite ria's efforts to stop prachi from going and ria spiked rambro's drink in order to get close to rambro let's continue ria offers drink to rambro rambro is about to offer the same drink to sedat ria says don't give it to sedat he doesn't like it she gives another drink to Sedat. Rambro drinks the spiked drink. Sedat finds her behavior odd and looks at her. Rambro makes Prachi her food with his spoon. Rhea looks at them. Sedat notices her. Rambro gets drowsy and spills the food on Prachi's dress. Prachi goes to clean the stain. Rambro feels drowsy but still wants to go behind her. Rhea asks him to finish the drink and takes Prachi's phone from him on the pretext of giving to her. Rhea messages Aliyah that Rambro is drunk and asks her to tell her the room number which she has booked for them. Rambro asks the DJ to play his favorite song and dances on the song. Prachi comes back and looks at Rambro. Rhea enjoys seeing him dancing. Sedat also dances with Rambro. Rambro holds Prachi's hand and dances with her. Prachi tells Rhea that Rambro is drunk. Rhea says when they did drink, I didn't give him drink. Prachi says she is upset with him. She doesn't like him to drink and he knows. She goes away from there. Rhea tells Sedat that Prachi is upset and asks him to go and talk to her while she will bring Rambro. Sedat goes. Rhea dances with Rambro and owes him to take him to the room. Rambro says I want to have party. Rhea says people are sleeping and they might complain. Rhea comes to the room number 303 and gets the keys under the carpet. She thinks that the distance between us will be over in this room. Rambro asks where are you taking me? I want to dance. Rhea says we will dance. She thinks this is our room and nobody will come to search for us here. She sees Rambro fainted and falling down on the bed. The electricity goes off. She thinks what happened to the light and goes out. The manager says that there is light in the other rooms, but your room have issues and asks, shall I get your room changed? Ria says it's okay. He says you are our special guest. Rageshwari sent you. Ria says I have booked this room as I am working from home. He says she said that she wants room, even if it is electricity issue. She says okay. She takes the drink from the waiter and drinks. The waiter says it is for some other guest. Ria says sorry for the guest and thank you. The waiter says okay. She comes back to the room and asks him, who get up to go? Ria keeps her finger on his lips and says you will not go anywhere. You will stay with me here. Yeah. She removes his jacket and makes him sit on the bed. She says there will be no helplessness or distance between us. You will be mine. He falls on the bed. In the morning, Rhea wakes up, happy about the night that she has spent the night with Rambro. She hears the shower noise coming from the bathroom and gets happy. She hugs his jacket and calls Aliyah. She says, your trick is done and whatever I want has happened. I was with Rambro all the night. Aliyah asks if she wake up now. Rhea says yes and Rambro is taking shower. She thanks her. Aliyah says you have to take the next step of separating Prachi from her. Rhea says I will tell Prachi now. Aliyah says no. Then Prachi will confront him and he would apologize to her. She says return home. I will do everything. They all return home. Palavi opens the door and tells Rhea that she can never thought that she can do such a thing. Rhea asks what did I do? Palavi says you know well. Prachi asks what did Rhea do? Aliyah is already there. Prachi says you are here, aunt. Aliyah asks her and says so sorry Prachi. Prachi asks what happened. Rhea smiles. Aliyah says whatever has happened, have happened behind your back. Prachi says I am very worried. Grandma asks if Rambro and Rhea haven't told you anything. Prachi says they are behaving strange and wanted to return home. She says Rambro was excited about this trip but wanted to return so we have to return. Vikram says how can you do this? Siddharth asks what did Rambro do? Aliyah asks Rambro until when will he hide it? She says I always dislike Prachi and I thought her wrong and thought whatever happened with Rhea is with Prachi. Today, I came to know that the wrong thing have happened to you. She says the victim is Prachi. Prachi says what has happened? Aliyah says your husband Rambro and your sister Rhea has betrayed you. They were on the bed behind your back. Sedat and Prachi were shocked. Aliyah asks Rambro to say it and says they were together as he couldn't forget his first love and just as he got the chance, he had spent the night with Rhea. Aliyah says, I thought you both are happy with your marriage and have moved on. Palavi says, you shouldn't have thought this. Palavi asks Rambro and Rhea, how dare they? 
Grandma says this is not our son. Palavi asks if he wanted to do this, then why did you marry Prachi? Vikram asks him to answer. Prachi tells Aliyah that my Rambu cannot lie and betray me. She says I trust him and Ria is my sister. She says someone provoked you. Aliyah says nobody provoked me. I had made a video call to Ria and before she could understand, I saw them together. She says the both of them were sleeping together. Rambu says I did a big mistake and couldn't understand. Sedat asks, do you love Ria and wanted to marry her? Aliyah asks, didn't you know anything? And says, you are living in darkness. Ria smiles. Aliyah says, I thought you told the truth to Sedat. And says, I thought you are happy with him. But yesterday, I know where your happiness lies. Aliyah says, it is wrong to betray our loved ones. Rambu asks her to stop it and let him explain to his family. Prachi says, you have fooled me since two years and you thought to make it again. He says, I was in dark room and couldn't see. She says, you couldn't know, but you must feel when Ria touched you. She says, why did you used to say that you can feel me with closed eyes? Rambu says, I will say that even now. It is not my mistake. Prachi says, I am wrong to trust you. You were a one-woman man and looks at Ria. She says, I never thought that you would have extramarital affair with my sister. She asks Ria if she did not feel ashamed. He was not in his senses, but you know that he is my husband. Prachi asks, did you lie to me? that you have changed and forgotten your past. She says you have betrayed me big and says you have cheated me big. Ria says what about your betrayer with me? She says this is the revenge for that which you did with me many years ago. Prachi is shocked. Ria tells Prachi that whatever she did with her two years ago, think this as the revenge for that. Rambo asks Ria to stop and asks Prachi to understand him. Aliyah says you will always cheat Prachi and says once a cheater will always be a cheater. She says Prachi, he would again betray you and he will make fun of the marriage. She says you shall punish him. Grandma asks Prachi not to take decision in anger and says your family. Prachi says family is built when there is trust and love. But here yeah, my dear ones are my enemies. She says Rambu was not in his consciousness and that is why he called his sin as a mistake. Andrea was in her senses and that is why she called her sin as revenge. She says how to forget them. Rambu apologized to Prachi. Prachi says I cannot bear it and don't think these tears as weakness and says why they are flowing is because I couldn't bear. She says trust is the first step of any relationship. You have broken the trust and I am breaking this relationship. She says our relationship is over now, forever. See that looks shocked. Rambu says no Prachi. Ria smiles as Prachi leaves the house. Aliyah and Ria smiles. This turns out to be Ria's daydreaming and she thinks that she will get mad thinking about all this. And she thinks that she needs to reach home and then her aunt will undo everything. She laughs and says, I am so happy. Abby comes to Aliyah and asks, did you talk to him? Aliyah says, I talked to him and I wanted to tell you that I am not working with Gaurav Tapa. Abby says, all the family members are corrupt. Aliyah says, if I have known that you have problem with his family, then I wouldn't have worked with them. Abby says, they are bad. I don't want to see you with them. Ria turns and looks at Sidat. She says, see that, you are here. He kisses her on the cheek and says, I love you too. He says, you were saying I love you all night and you did not give me a chance to say anything. He hugs her and says, I am very happy. See that says, finally, we are a couple and our marriage is completed. Ria is shocked and she says, I was with Rambu. See that says, you went to take Rambu and I went to pacify Prachi. Ria asks him to say, see that says, I stopped Prachi. A flashback is shown. Sidat stops Prachi and asks her not to look at his drinks and see his happiness. He asks her to take him to the room, else any other girl will take him to the room and then you will curse yourself. Prachi asks him to come. The flashback ends. He says Prachi felt that some girl is taking Rambu and then she saw you. They come to the room while Ria is talking to the manager about the light. Prachi says they came to the wrong room. She wakes up Rambu. Rambu says Prachi, take me home. Prachi says we will go to our room and sleep. Sedat and Prachi takes Rambu out. Sedat tells Prachi that he has forgotten his phone inside and asks Prachi to take Rambu. He comes back to the room and takes his mobile and picks Rambu's jacket. He finds his phone off at the wrong time and he falls on Ria just as she comes. Ria says today you will not say anything. You will stay here with me. This room and this night is ours and you are just mine from today. She pushes him on the bed. The flashback ends. Sedat says who knows better than you, 
What happened after that? He says, I will bring my jacket and he goes. Ria realized that she has gotten intimated with Sidat and she shouted in anger. She throws the things around and says, no. She says that night was not for you. It was for Rambro. She thinks that what the hell. I kept this night for Rambro safely since so many years. Not for you. She calls Alia. Alia says, I am ready and I will undo everything before you come here. I got my speech ready. I have to tell everything in front of the family. And then Prachi couldn't say anything. Ria says everything is over. My destiny is bad. She says I was with Sidat and not with Rambro. I told him all the night that I loved him. Ria says Sidat wanted his wife's love and a romantic honeymoon and he got it. She says I am so angry. Alia asks how couldn't you understand that you was with Sidat and not with Rambro. Ria says I came inside the room with Rambro. The light went off. I went out to complain with the manager and when I returned, Sidat was already here. She says I thought Sidat was Rambro and she asks Alia if she got this cheap room only and says it is all over. Rambro comes to Prachi wearing the bathrobe and kisses on her cheeks. Prachi smiles and gets up. A song plays in the background. Rambro kisses on her forehead. He gives his bathrobe to her. Prachi takes it. Rambro picks the flower and gives to Prachi. The song continues to play in the background. Prachi takes it and smiles. He says if you don't mind, then shall we do breakfast later. They cover themselves with blankets and they got intimate. Prachi calls Shagun and asks about Sushma's bag. Shagun says it is in Alia's madam's room. Pragya says I will get it and ask Shagun to make the juice for her. Pragya comes to the room and takes Sushma's bag. She thinks Gorav's 12 missed calls and recalls Abi telling that Alia told him that she will not work with Gorav anymore. Pragya says if Alia was so scared of you, then so much will not have happened in our lives. She says you shall not trust her as something is going on in their heart always. Abi says who is far from you is against you. Pragya says there is nothing in my heart against you. The flashback ends. She thinks I will not tell him anything and I will undo her myself. Alia and Tanu comes to Gaurav's office. He asks why are you not picking the call. Alia says I have forgotten my phone at home and asks him to cut the call. Abi sees Gaurav's call and thinks that why is he so desperate. He finds Alia's note and says there must be something important. Gaurav tells Alia and Tanu that he did wrong by coming in their talks and accused Pragya. He says since then he has been seeing his downfall. He says I came in your talks and I accused her for molestation and you got thousands of rupees from Pragya. Gaurav says you guys are enjoying at her house and I got bad reputation. You are not at all profitable for me. Alia asks what profit do you want? You are here saved due to us. Tanu says we saved you from going to jail and asks why is he calling them again and again. She says let's go Alia. Gaurav says I have a plan. And that is why I called again and again. Ria comes out of her hotel and thinks of Sidat's word. She sees Rambro and Praji coming there romancing each other. She asks them if they will be here and don't want to come home. Rambro asks, why are you angry? I will get my car. She sees the lipstick marks on Rambro's neck and gets upset. Sidat comes there holding the trolleys. Praji teases him. Thank you for watching my videos. For more updates, make sure you subscribe to my channel. Like my videos. Share it. Thank you.